that though. What if a fucking bird comes and like throws up? Hey guys, I'm Kenzie and my birthday is coming up in a few days. And bitch, I need a birthday cake. Today we're on a mission to make the best birthday cake that anyone has ever seen in their entire life because bitch I've never had like a banging birthday cake. I've only had one like from the store which there's no problem with ones from the store but like I want a cute I want a cute birthday cake like please like I want one so bad. This is this is what we're going for guys. I drew this little um Venn diagram here of what I wanted the cake to look like. I'm turning 21, so I want the numbers, the 21, and I want to do like one side, like one number pink and one number black. My aesthetic is black, but like my soul is pink. Or maybe it's the other way around. I don't really understand. Whatever, I like those two colors. Who cares? Let's move on. You must be wondering, like, girl, if we're making a cake, why are we in the car, right? And not the kitchen. We're in the car because I need a beverage severe and I can't function without a beverage. So we're gonna do that first just because, you know, I wanted you guys to come with me because I thought it would be cute and, and fun and whatever. Here's the thing, right? If you don't know, I went to a high school where you basically do a trade at the same time as you do high school. So like 50% of my time was spent doing like math and shit. And the other 50% I was in a shop. And so my shop was culinary arts, bitch. So I know how to make cake like I can do it I'm just lazy and I never do it and I never really like bake at all anymore so if you came here to watch like a flop and a struggle bitch you came to the wrong place because I am so damn try hard even if I didn't go to school for that bitch I'm still a try hard I would still be like just stressing and like going crazy because like I need it to be I need it to be like perfect okay guys the drink has been secured you may be wondering oh what did you get did you get something so delicious and awesome and fun the answer to that question is no i got a large black with no ice because <laughs> here's the thing right i like to freestyle so i just have my own shit at home that i just put in it i am so i am so excited like genuinely because i just know it's gonna look incredible oh i should put my hands on the wheel sorry guys um now, girl, I said I went to culinary school. I didn't say that I was Chef Boyardee. So we're gonna use a box mix, but I'm gonna show y'all how, how I jazz it up a little bit and make it extra delicious and fun. Okay. So we're doing the lemon first. Also, I, I only have one pan, so I'm gonna do one cake on camera and one cake off camera. Look, I bought this bowl just for this. I would, did anyone else watch like Nerdy Nummies? Like I would watch her with all her little glass bowls and she'd be like, and I never had like glass bowls growing up. We just used like old butter tubs. But anyways, the cake mix calls for a cup of water, three eggs, and a half a cup of vegetable oil. Mama, that's gross. We're not doing that. We're gonna use milk, an extra egg, and then we're gonna use butter instead of vegetable oil because bitch, I don't want, I don't want to eat an oil cake. It's half a cup of oil, so we're using this whole stick of butter. We're also using oat milk instead of regular milk because I don't mess with regular milk like that. Is this aesthetic? I put all the eggs I needed in this bowl because I want to be cute about it. Yeah. Crazy flex, ready? You know, maybe I should have cut the butter because it's just kind of like floating in there like a big log. Oh yeah, it's guys, it's pretty cold. Wait, did I fumble the bag? Let me just scoop her out. Should I like try to like... The answer was no, I shouldn't have. Now, we're doing lemon for one of the cakes. And I know what you're thinking. Lemon, girl, who likes lemon? Me, I like lemon and it's my birthday and I want one of my cakes to have lemon in it, okay? We're gonna do a lemon cake with a blueberry filling. Ooh, so yummy. Those are my favorite two like dessert, like pastry combos, I guess. So we're doing that for one of the cakes and then the other cake is gonna be regular vanilla with raspberry filling, because you know, I have to appease the lemonators.
Oh, I should have preheated the oven. 350, period. My oven's pretty, like, lickety-split, so it should be fine. Okay, I can't lie, y'all. This looks legit. Here I am just putting her in the oven. There she goes. We're gonna cook it for 23 minutes. And while that's happening, we're gonna make the compo, okay? So honestly, I got no recipe, no measurements. I was just freestyling based off the memories I had left over in my culinary memory chamber. We put in some lemon juice, some blueberries, toss some sugar in there, why not? Not too much though, cause I, you know, I don't wanna go crazy with that. The cake's gonna be sweet enough on its own. And we're gonna let her cook for however long I feel like it. Honestly, I, fe I felt like Pioneer Woman who just picked some berries and I'm, I'm about to make a pie for my village. Like, look at me, like I was... <laughs> When I tell you I made a whole script for this little voiceover situation and it has not helped me once. I'm on take number 10. I can't do this anymore. Here I am pouring it into this glass dish and I'm starting on the next one. The stove isn't even on in this clip. I don't know what I was doing. Just fumble around with some berries. Here's the cake. I'm gonna take it out now. Oh, you thought I was gonna do it without a glove? I'm not that stupid. I'm sick of saying that joke over and over again. It's less funny now that I've recorded this 10 times. Like, I'm finished. Okay, well, I'll see you when the cake cools down. Toodles. One eternity later. I'm not even gonna lie with you. This was into the wee hours of the night. It was like 11 p.m. Because I was not taking any chances. I needed this girl to be so room temperature. I was terrified of it crumbling or breaking when it came out of the pan. But girl, she slipped right out, no problem. I was flabbergasted. I thought there was gonna be a struggle something but it was fine so i was thankful we took off the little paper and now here i am wrapping her up putting her in her little blankie so she can take her nap in the freezer there's the other cake they're going betty by now all right and we'll see them in the morning toodles we're making the frosting look how cute this so I had bought this quirky little sifter thing because I thought it would be faster, but oh my god, it took so long. My hand was cramping so bad. Look at my muscles going to work. And there was barely anything coming out of it. I had to do six cups of sugar. Six! It took me like 35 minutes and then I had to clean the, the Coke counter. <laughs> okay, right now we're trying to make the frosting. Girl, that actually just broke my arm off. I bought that because I thought it would be like faster and better than just doing like the one with your hand that you tap diva no way my hand is like cramping just just rotten activities anyways we're getting six sticks of butter this looks this looks lethal six you know what i realized when i woke up this morning i have no cake board or anything to put this cake on like i don't have a box or anything. We'll cross that bridge when we get there in like an hour. Today I'm having like my birthday redo. So today's like my actual birthday. I mean like yesterday was my birthday, but like today is my actual birthday. Like just trust me. Like in spirit today is my birthday, but yesterday like factually, like what's on the paper, like it was tomorrow or it was yesterday. Also, I should probably like put my hair up. But girl, also it's my cake. Here we go. I have to go whip this up for 10 minutes. So I will be right back because I'm not gonna make you guys like watch that. Like that's crazy and embarrassing. Okay guys, we have our butter. Do you wanna know something so funny? When I was in school, every time we would bake, I'd be like, wow, the butter smells so good. I'm like, this butter just smells so sweet and good and delicious. I was like, why is nobody like freaking out over the smell of this butter? And everyone would be like, girl, it just smells like butter. And I'm like, no, it smells like so sweet and like yummy and like, Butter doesn't usually smell like this. I was like, do we have special butter? And basically that's how I found out that my whole life, my mom never used butter. It was like some kind of like vegetable spread. Like we never had real butter. Anyways, it's finished. We're gonna take a little bit of our powdered sugar. An eternity later. Okay, finally that's over. Jeez, I genuinely like, 
I was basically miserable the whole time doing that. So, why am I such a tryhard? Like, I could have just got a cake, like, already made and just picked that shit up, you know? There has been an angel by my side. Yeah. I feel like I'm at DQ. Look, don't even come off. Look how cute these little food colorings are. They're so cutie patootie. I want it to be like light pink. Like I don't want it to be like hot or fuchsia. That's ugly. I feel like that woman that like makes like cocoa puffs from scratch for her kids. She'd be holding the thing and she'd be like, Now this, we're gonna go crazy. We're gonna do at least like two, three drops. Y'all see how ugly and drab and tired this looks. I guess like you put it in the microwave and like something's supposed to happen, some chemical thing and it makes it darker. So basically it just turned a darker gray and got kind of soupy. So I added a little bit of purple to try to make it like, you know, look a little better. Yeah, I also used the whole bottle of black and it still wasn't enough. It looks okay. It'll still work for like the theme that we're going for. So I'm not upset really at all. I sounded upset when I said that, but I promise I'm not. The purple's cute, kind of. Okay guys, here she is. I thought about leveling it, but I don't really have time. So I'm not gonna do that. I ended up buying these big number stencils because I have zero freehand artistic ability. So I went around and traced it out. I was trying to cut it around it, but it was sliding too much and I was getting stressed. So I just kind of doodled around there. And girl, I lifted it up and I, I could barely even see the lines I made. So maybe it was a waste of time. I don't know. But the cake was so frozen. It was so hard to cut. You can see me putting my entire body weight into this icicle ass cake, girl. It was terrible. And then I realized something. Oh wait, no, this... This is the lemon cake. Remember when I said... So this had to be... This should have been the one. So I guess we're gonna have to switch the colors of the whole thing. Which like, is not the fantasy that I had in mind, but... Okay. We're cruising now. We're, we're cruising. We're cruising. We're cruising. Look at this. Look at this bad boy. That's a two if I've ever seen one. That's a- that's a two, girl. We did it! Okay, here we are. I ended up cutting out the one and like splitting it in half off camera. And I wish I could have been talking during this because it's the most important part, but girl, I was stressing. Like we were so behind schedule. I had to leave in like 30 minutes, wasn't ready, looking haggard still. And girl, this this part was aggravating me so bad because look, look at this. Why was she doing that? Why was she doing that? She knew damn well that I was busy and that I had to leave and I was getting so angry. Anyways, I had just piped a border around so I could put in my filling that I made yesterday and girl I wanted it to be bursting I put that on nice and thick and juicy I wanted them to taste I wanted to soak into the cake and give it that good good flavor all right and then I just put the top back on there she goes laying to rest honestly at this point I was hyped because I was like nothing has gone wrong like I'm kind of cruising it's looking fantastic and then I just did the same like little dollop frosting nub situation on the top because I like the way that it looked I think at this point I had just blacked out and I was on go mode like I wasn't thinking about anything I was just slapping the raspberries on there trying to make it look half decent I was putting them in these little bushels I don't know and then kind of sporadically throwing them about and I made these stars off camera they're little chocolate stars isn't that adorable I just melted down some chocolate chips and put them into these ice cube molds and I did white chocolate and dark chocolate they're so cute okay do not gag me for the way I was cutting these strawberries I just started hacking away I was in such a rush I didn't care at that point I was not going and finding a cutting board or play or anything I was just freestyling to a hundred percent honestly I would have liked to make them cuter and maybe cut out cute shapes or something but you know you can't change the past maybe I should have managed my time better I got some macaroons at the grocery store 
These were not from a bakery girl. They were from the freezer aisle, okay? But they did the job just as well. I put the strawberry ones, obviously, because they're pink. <laughs> and then I did the vanilla bean ones because they were white and those were the only ones that kind of matched the theme i guess of this cake at this point i was feeling like the cake boss girl i was so excited i mean there was no fondant to be seen but i still felt like buddy velastro like i may have graduated three years ago but the embers of my culinary superpower were still burning bright within me and i put the little my melodies on top and i was so excited and then i left this clip in because i wanted you to see how bad i was struggling i crashed into the chair I'm rummaging through bags like a little rat in a trash can. It was so embarrassing. The fridge was wide open. Girl, it was bad. Now, unfortunately, I did do the entire other cake off camera because I had 10 minutes to get it done. But here she is. Honestly, the purple frosting didn't come out too bad. It looked super cute with the karomis on it and everything. And here are the two cakes together. Again, I had no cake board, so it was on foil and cutting boards. But look, guys, tell me I didn't eat down. Look how good they look. Come on now, are you kidding me? I still wish the frosting was black. Maybe I'm not over it. <laughs> call me Cake Boss, call me Rachel Ray, call me Papa's Cakeria. You know what? Call me Gordon, because this cake was delicious too, on top of how beautiful and stunning she was. And I got matching plates. And here's me with my cakes. Look how cute and sweet my little face is. <laughs> I'm joking. Anyways, this video was really hard to film, but it was super fun and I had a great time doing it even if I was stressed out and the frosting didn't turn out black, but that's okay. We're, we're totally fine.